Okay, this is my personal kids tomb um video. Um at least Clay Feldman is also trying to do this all the whole country movement kind of thing. So just add on to that part two. Clay Feldman is spreading this movement for the real reasons what the movement is all about. Kids and children do get abused. Sexually, emotionally, mentally, physically. Which I've been through all four. And this is why this is going to be my ultimate personal video. Um, if you guys want information, more information, intimate, um, TMI, Things which I'm not going to go into this video because it's going to be TMI stuff. Um, go to my Facebook page. I have notes about it on my Facebook page. Like people said, if you say one person today, you did, a, did your job. And I full heartedly believe that. If you did help somebody and if you saved somebody, in one day, you did your job. Unfortunately, I didn't have that kind of experience. Um, I was seven to ten, seven years old to ten years old. My best friend, who kind of was a friend, I don't, I didn't tell her his best friend yet. But her brother, I started hanging out with him, sadly. Um, he decided to, I decided to went to play basketball with him, guys. Because I thought I liked basketball. But, when it started that day, he pulled me into his shorts that, um, closet behind the garage but not in the house and um wanted to take me math which I found out later I was pretty darn good at math but anyway it turned out really quickly out to be something more um I'm not doing any just really hard line descriptions like I said go to my Facebook page that has real hard core description by will label what it was labeled. He wanted me to do a little sex on him and it been it was happening like the first couple weeks. I was done. I was frozen I was scared to do anything and I never suggest, I absolutely never suggest but at times I was so scared and froze that I never said no either. Um, anyway, um, he wanted me to do all sex which never panned out where he wanted. At uh, him, and I kind of pulled it back, and then he kind of started wanting to have sex with me, which I never believed, and I never thought going into somebody with your know, fingers, penis, or anything was really great, unless it was really intercourse. Until I had a counselor who explained it was raped. And I'm still really having, I'm having struggling still with labeling and other things. Even my psyche is still shaken up, screwed up. Because of my close personal guy friends who wanted to be more than friends with me um, 
my feelings about intimacy just was shot to hell. I'm petrified with it. So anyway, um, one day he even took a picture of my vagina. So, and I don't know what happened to that picture, if he still has it. Like, I hope his kids never find it. Um, and at the time, he was dating his now wife. They were like childhood sweethearts. And she actually stayed with him through the whole thing. So, that kind of stunned me. And she also lied to my mom about something else, but that's unrelated. Um, but still, the Me Too movement, the reason why I'm pissed off at you guys is because you've been taking that movement way too far and you don't know what private parts and what is okay to touch and what not to touch. I forgot to bring up Taylor Swift in that video. Taylor Swift, show us where he pinched your back. Instead of a still picture of him, like, lower back. He was nowhere near your butt. He didn't lift his, your skirt up. Um, the picture says a thousand words. And he never looked like he was up in your skirt and never touched your butt. So you were not such real ass and you do not deserve that dollar. Anyway, going back to my story, it got really, we moved into the house, even with that picture, um, moved into his house, bedroom, and that's when it became apparently apparent that it was going to get worse and more violent and more physical than I can ever imagine. Whenever I kept saying no, he always just kept pulling me, pushing me against the wall, threatening me, even asked me to steal my father's playboy pictures. Um, but I don't know, it was just not a very good time and a very horrific time for me, very dark. Um, when once drawn me in the pool, tried to draw me, promise for him, and the whole entire time where I always said no and pushed back, I was actually strong. Stronger than I thought I could be at eight, nine, and ten. Um, I was kicked his face, I was pushed away. And then the pool, when he tried to um, draw me, like enough for me, I could hold my breath for a very long time. And then he pulled his arms off me. So anyway, um, he, his sister wa walked in once and never said anything. So I'm an angry and furious with her. Yeah, this video has been that long. I hate these limitations that YouTube is having. Um, but during the time he was abusing me, he was also lying to me about my sis her, his sister was home and she always wanted to see me. Nah, it was him. He wanted to do stuff with me. So I was just really vilely lied to and I was always swarmed back in, never stayed away, which is a pull of, I guess, Stockholm Syndrome, I guess. I don't think I really wanted to label it, but I never stayed away. So to my last day, he wanted to do, have sex with me. I wanted and screamed no. Um, I 
pushed away, pushed away, pushed away. He got at it and he and just finally had enough. Kicked his ass and face and ran. Absolutely ran. And that'd be and he has a backstory about going home and finding saying something. I always went home and cried my eyes out and just bawling. And my sis older sister, who's my best friend, always asked me what was wrong. I was probing what it happened. Never said anything. I gave them advice. I gave, I gave them one for advice for the relationships, which I never took until the last day. <laughs> Ah, uh, angry with myself about that. Never blamed myself for being pulled, not staying away and pulling towards it. Because I know I said no. And I froze and I couldn't stay away. So, I don't know what I blamed. I, I don't know why I don't blame him. Even though I should. I think something happened to him um, when he was a kid and probably something to do with Heather too. But anyway, don't blame myself for him raping me and sexually abusing me, just him lying to me. So anyway, I was getting really tired of it, sick of it, and I just came home, ran right up the stairs into my bedroom and just collapsed and cried hysterically my sister tried to calm me down however she couldn't so she shook the truth on me and thank god she did because that time was the breakaway i needed and also the truth that i needed to stay away and walk away finally i had seen him twice since i always walked away and stayed away from him and then he moved to Florida um, to be some, some kind of bean counter. Um, but got another new job closer back home in New Jersey, um, working for Clear Point Health um, and COO of the medical group. Um, I always wanted him to have karma. I, I don't understand why he didn't have good karma and I had bad karma. I, I was just frustrated and made that affect in my relationship with men. But I also know I had a fractured psyche and, and just was scared, really, really scared of relationships and being intimate. So, it's going to take me a while to even get there. And I have a boyfriend now who's incredibly incredible. And I've known him for 30 years. He worked with my sisters. But right now I'm just really freaking out because of the physical part of the um, relationship. But he talked Saturday. He saw my um, movement. Um, walkway movement post and he didn't talk about it he just know about it now and he's like we have the whole rest of our lives to deal with it and handle it and I love that so um, thank you Danny and I hope to be the um, woman you haven't had yet thank you have a good night